Twenty-five miles away, on an autumnal ride, in Froome I find poet Christina Rossetti, a poetry stone and a house where she used to reside. Borada I say when I meet a friend for a coffee, at a place on the cobbled corner of Welsh Back. Ships from Wales brought slate and coal here, historically. To avoid the fast multi-lane racetrack, when cycling to Longwell Green Retail Park, Kingsfield Lane's bike path to a bridge is a great hack. First comes the poor artist's show in an old warehouse quite dark, which in the life cycle of cities leads towards a stage that turns towards expensive show homes with a high price mark. On the eve of All Hallows' Eve, with old graves I engage, I cycle to see elegies from centuries ago, then read tarot cards for my future with a friendly sage. It's not only church graveyards me and my bike go, this backyard has a dismembered bike corpse. Resurrecting aluminium with a hole is a no. Sturdy, small war graves of young men from regiments and corps are at the back of Avonview Cemetery behind, worn down and toppled bigger headstones, which the weather warps. It always makes me happy when out on my bike I find an old post box like this King George V one on Kingsway. My granddad liked them, so when I see them, he's in my mind. I cycle to Cabot Tower, thinking of the USA. John Cabot's ship set anchor in Northern America, over 500 years past, on St. John the Baptist's day. No Guy Fox in Barton Fields this 5th of November. In Old English, Barton means this city park was farmland. Lockdown Part 2 means this date I'll still remember. By Bristol's east border, I park my bike to stand on Staple Hill Road at a boundary marker which is what stay pole meant in Anglo-Saxon land. In Stoke Park, there's a huge yellow house known as the Dower, whose origins date back to the 16th century, flanked by the M32 and the Powerdown transmitter. On the bike path, heading east, just after Warmly, Gaius Sentius provides water for thirsty cyclists, a fountain near where an ancient Roman road used to be. As a kid, the Road to films with comic adventurists inspired far-off tours because of Hope, Crosby and Lemur. Road to Bob Hope's plaque in St George is one of life's droll twists. With wild, wet weather, it's tempting not to go out the door. To keep my feet dry, the time's come for winter cycling boots. I pedal to meet my bubble bud out in the downpour. 18th century colliers heard religious offshoots from John Wesley preaching outside on Hannam Mount, I cycled up where Methodism sowed its roots. When out cycling, there's something on which I can count, that I'll see odd things like a double-egg-ended boiler, which used steam 
the power of twelve horses it did surmount. Silent Hobo's great mural at Kingswood's Bristol border shows a king, a horse, a fox, a ship, air balloons concord, around the suspension bridge with a six miles stone marker. Lights, camera, slow pedal action heading homeward. Clad in over trousers, over shoes, I'm over this rain. Waterproofs to keep me dry until inside I'm restored. The Blue Bull pub in Hannam in some form has lain on this thoroughfare, maybe since the 14th century. How many closures during plagues has it had to sustain? <laughs>